Hearts Jerusalem, basically, I mean, it's not the physical Jerusalem, but just as the physical Jerusalem is the uh, spiritual center for uh, many faiths, Muslim, Jewish, Christianity, Hearts Jerusalem, the Jerusalem of the heart, is the spiritual goal. What is spirituality? Spirituality is the connection between us, the connection between people. Give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. We learn in Kabbalah that uh, the perception of reality is based completely on reception rather than bestowal. So ordinarily when we listen to a song, we hear a portrayal of one's desire to receive. And though they may um, breathe into that song a high degree of talent in conveying that desire to receive, and you can have Mozart with all his virtuosity, but even at that height, at that level, you still only get the apex of the desire to receive. Um, and what we're trying to convey is the desire to bestow. So it's a, just a small tweak, but a huge one actually. Jerusalem, you know, in Hebrew it means ir ashlema, you know, ultimate, uh, well, what's the word, ira, that's, I don't even know the word in English for ira, you know, um, well, Jerusalem means a lot. Of course, there's the physical Jerusalem, which is amazing, and then there's the spiritual Jerusalem, uh, getting to that ultimate ira, whatever that word is in English, ah, uh, to find out, but uh, yeah, to get to that spiritual Jerusalem, to get to that point in our hearts, that is aligned with that force, like we said. Getting to that Jerusalem, that's even more beautiful than the city itself, <laughs> which is beautiful. Beautiful song. Did I play drums on it? <laughs> that didn't play the way... Uh... Doesn't work anyway. No matter how you play it, it's the wrong feel. We've got to keep, we, the song has got to keep floating. Okay. Uh, because you get into a mood, and then the, it, there's, I see. there's no reason to go to that place. I got it. Um, so we got to find some other way to, to make that thing mm -hmm. happen. Um, the snare, you were coming in. Yeah, in uh, the verse. Exactly. In the verse. It only comes in at the, at the first chorus. Mm -hmm. uh, first chorus. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I forgot that. Um, the books of Kabbalah are written in a very special way. They talk only about the inner reality of, uh, of the collective of all of humanity. They talk about what's inside of the person. So Gianni has written a song that says, forget about all of your sort of physical ideas. Let go of all that stuff. Take it inside and see what is Jerusalem inside of you. And uh, that's what the books are talking about. And that's the journey that we that we go on. There's nothing that there's nothing to figure out anymore about the stones and the, the Tower of David or any of those kinds of things. There's nothing there. That's all just the outside, it's dead, it's done with. The only place that you're gonna find anything is what do these things mean inside? In our world, there is desire and its physical manifestation, action. For example, one wants to receive something, but he does not allow himself to perform the physical act of taking. Meanwhile, his desire to take remains the same. In the spiritual world, there are no bodies, only bare desires. Therefore, the desire itself already constitutes action, like an already completed mental and physical action in our world. Therefore, the desire alone determines man's spiritual state. the sea in the purple sun, feeling everyone on a new degree, higher than the dead sea, hills of blue 
To the 